All right, thanks for watching. Welcome back. Hit the subscribe button. Please thumb the video up. So this time I'm making a Moana, a Moana picture that I'm going to paint. And it comes out looking really good. It's 10 by 10. So let me get this rolling. Thanks for watching. Alright, so after you trace the bitmap, I'm going to have to ungroup these and do some deleting because obviously I don't want these markers on the side. So what I have to do, because most of these vectors are connected to Moana herself, I have to put new vectors in to separate the lines I don't want from Moana. So I'm essentially going to close these vectors off by myself and then delete them with scissors. Now after I get those vectors all connected, I can go ahead and remove the markers that I didn't want initially. Alright, so after I run a 30 degree V-bit tool path, uh, there's some things about it I don't like, like the sun, and I'm going to make some changes to it, so let's get going. All right, so the sun doesn't seem to be a, a good perfect circle, you know, even consistency as far as depth goes. So I'm going to delete it. I'm going to ungroup the vectors. I'm going to delete the circle, the inner part of the sun, and then I'm going to put my own circle in its place. And let's see how that looks. Then I'm going to try, now I'm going to try to put another circle on the inside just to see how it looks and change the sun up a little bit, see if I like it or not. And I don't like that, so we're going to put it back the way it was.
I am trying to figure out what I should do next. Part of me wants to extend the waves. I don't really like her eyes. So let me think about what I want to do here. And I'll probably start with the waves. Yeah, so we're going to ungroup, and we're going to select each one of the waves, and slide them on over to the edge. Extend them out to give it the appearance of she's standing right in front of the ocean. And then we're going to repeat for the other side, and see how that looks. All right, so I'm looking at the other side now with the waves. I'm going to have to leave the one because it's connected to her hair. And I think I want to add another wave down by her shoulder from where on the bottom of her hair. So uh, we'll get that done. Okay, so now I want to put the wave there, but the problem is, is there's no border to cut off the end of this vector and actually connect it or join it together. So what I'm going to have to do is make a box around this, and then I can take my scissors and I can cut the vector so the vector doesn't go off the side of the project like it is currently. Alright, and just for giggles, since we put the box around it, let's run a new profile, or I'm sorry, a new V-carved path and see what it'll look like raised as opposed to just carved like we did previously. And no, I don't like that at all. So we're going to go ahead and delete those toolpaths and go the way we started with just the carving. All right, so now I think I want to add some more of these birds flying in the sky. Maybe I'll put them in like a V pattern, add a few more to give the sky a little bit more, something a little bit more, you know, a little bit more pop instead of just a blue sky and a sun. So uh, let's see how this looks.
yeah, I like the way the birds look. So now I gotta get rid of this box around the border that I added. I haven't taken that away yet. And when I do so, it's gonna leave me an open vector on that wave that I added. So I'm gonna have to go in and close that. So let's get that done. All right, sorry about that. I was thinking about something else. So you can find open vectors by right-clicking and then select open vectors. Um, it's a real quick way when you're trying to run a toolpath and it says you have open one open vector or however many open vectors. Uh, just make sure that they're all grouped together. I think you had to group them together. I'm not 100%. And then you can, it'll say, uh, select all open vectors. And then any vectors that are open, it'll automatically select them. And then you've got to figure out how to close them. And sometimes it'll give you the option to join them directly, but not usually. Well, all right, that's about it for this one. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, hit that subscribe button, please, thumb it up. And I'm going to tell you, this one comes out pretty good. I was happy with the actual carving and the paint job. Uh, so I hope you guys liked the video. It should be up in two days. Um, well, thanks again, and hit that subscribe button. Please, if you have any questions or comments, post them in the box, and I will get back with you as soon as I can. So, uh, till the next video, I'm out.